Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Oracle Java JDK on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started. So I'm going to first of all open my favorite browser and search for Oracle Java JDK and just click the first link which will appear in the result. I'm going to also provide the link in the description of the video so you can directly click on the link which I'm just opening. And here you will see uh, Java SE 14, which is the latest version of Java at the time of making this video. And also you will see Oracle JDK here and JDK downloads button here. So I'm going to just click on this JDK download uh, link and I'm going to just uh, scroll down a little where I can see the Linux related packages here and Windows packages and Mac OS packages. So because Ubuntu is a Debian based uh, Linux operating system, so we, we are going to download this first option here, which is for uh, JDK 14 Linux x64 bin.deb file. So I'm going to just click on this uh, file and then I'm going to just accept license terms and conditions and then click on download JDK 14. And now I'm going to just click on save file and then click on OK, which is going to start the download of this uh, DEB file. So I'm going to wait for the download to complete. By the meantime, we can also check which version of Java installed right now on my uh, Ubuntu operating system. I don't have any uh, Java installed on my Ubuntu operating system, but to check, you can open the terminal by just pressing Control Alt T or by just going to the show application and search for the terminal. And once the terminal is open, you can just uh, write Java hyphen hyphen uh, version here and then press enter. And you will see uh, the Java version if it's installed or it's going to give you the uh, options to install Java JDK on your uh, Ubuntu operating system. So you can see all these options are for open JDK and not for Java JDK. So that's why I have chosen the other route. But if you want to install the open JDK, then you can use these commands also. And once uh, this file is downloaded, we are going to go to the location where it's downloaded. So I'm going to open the terminal just by just pressing Control Alt T uh, button. And then uh, we are going to uh, just navigate to this location where we have downloaded this file and list out all the files. And now in order to run this file, I'm going to just give this command sudo dpkg hyphen i and the name of the file and then press enter and then give my Ubuntu's password, which is going to start the installation of this uh, JDK on my Ubuntu operating system. And once this is done, the next step is to use the update alternative command to set the path to the Oracle Java executable. So all these commands I'm going to give you in the description of this video, which uh, I'm going to use here. So the next command is this command, which is sudo update hyphen alternatives space hyphen hyphen install and then this path java and then user lib jvm jdk14 bin java path okay and then space one so just give uh, this uh, command and then press enter so this update alternative command has given me uh, the error which says alternative path doesn't exist because uh, we have installed 14.0.1 and we are giving this path so let's see which path uh, exists for the JDK file. So I'm going to just do ls and then give uh, this command user forward slash live forward slash JVM, which I have copied from here. And then I'm going to just uh, give this command and the folder name is uh, JDK 14.0.1. So this was uh, the thing I was missing. So I will give this uh, alternative command once again. And here I'm going to replace this JDK 14 folder by the folder which is created by JDK for us, which is JDK 14.0.1 and then press enter once again. And it's going to give you this uh, output, which is fine. We are going to give the next uh, update alternative command now for the Java C and 
this is the command this also I'm going to give you in the description of this video and here also we need to update this uh, folder path which is 14.0.1 here and then press enter which is going to give you uh, this kind of output now once you have given all these commands you can verify the version of Java by just giving this command which is Java hyphen hyphen version and it's going to give you uh, this kind of output which is java 14.0.1 which we have installed right now uh, we can also see the java c version let me just clear the terminal so we can see it in a better way so you can just write uh, java c hyphen hyphen version and you can see java c version is 14.0.1 also now let's see how we can set the java home environment variable for this installation so for this you can give this command first of all so this command is sudo update alternatives space hyphen hyphen config space java which is going to give you the location to your java uh, installation right so you can see this is the location for your java installation now in order to set the environment variable you can open the environment uh, uh, file so for that you can just give this command sudo gedit or you can use nano or vim also for opening this file then etc and then environment and then press enter which is going to open this kind of file so here you need to uh, just go at the bottom of this file and then at the very bottom just write java underscore home all in capital and then is equal to and in the double quotes you need to give the path you see after giving this update alternative command so this is the path so you don't need to uh, copy the whole path you just need to copy the path before bin java okay so you need just need to copy this path user lib jvm and whatever jdk directory you have inside the jvm folder so just copy that path and then paste it inside these uh, double quotes here and once you're done you can just save this file and once the file is saved you can close this file and after that you need to refresh your environment uh, file so we are going to just say source and then the path to your etc environment file so etc environment and then press enter which is going to refresh all the paths there and now you can echo the java home path so you can just write uh, echo dollar java underscore home here and then press enter which is going to give you the path which you have set for your java home so this is how you can set the java home environment variable for your java jdk installation so this is how you can download and install oracle java jdk on your ubuntu operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video